For the first time in the Diablo franchise, Diablo 4 extends character cosmetic customization into mounts, mount armors, and mount accessories. And while many of these cosmetics do come from the in-game shop or come as random drops around Sanctuary, there are in fact still some cool ones that you can earn just by doing some of the challenges within the game. And so in today's video, I'd like to highlight five and actually a few more mount customizations that you can target and earn for free in the game. And first up, we have the Trade Consortium's Tap and Strongbox. So this is technically two different cosmetics, but also two that you can kind of target and earn at the same time. And first of all, to earn the Trade Consortium's Tack, which again is the Mount Armor, you would have to complete the challenge called Explore Eshuar, with Eshuar being the continent, or at least the part of the continent that is open to us in Diablo 4, which means that you have to explore every area, the map of Diablo 4 currently in its entirety, to be able to earn this mount armor. And it's actually not too hard to do because you really can just open up the map as you, for example, explore and do strongholds, do side quests, do hell tides, as well as complete your altars of Lilith, right? And speaking of which, the challenge for collecting all the altars of Lilith, which is called Altars of Lilith Collector, which not only gives you all the stat bonuses and renown, right? But it also rewards you with the Trade Consortium's Strongbox accessory for your mount. And so by completing both of these achievements, perhaps even at the same time, you'll be able to get both of the Trade Consortium's mount cosmetics, completing the set, so to speak. And sort of killing two birds, or even more than two birds, if you consider the Altars of Lilith's benefits with one stone, so to speak. And moving on to the next cosmetic, this is one that will potentially show up if you just play the game for long enough and just progress your character, as what has happened to me. But you can certainly target this specific type of content to earn it even faster, right? And what I'm talking about is the Horatric Tome, which requires one to complete 300 world events, and this doesn't necessarily have to be in the open world, right? It can be in like a dungeon or nightmare dungeon and so forth, or Helltide. But anyhow, you have to complete 300 world events, and not only that, but complete them with mastery, which isn't too hard depending on the type of event that you get. I would say that most of them are pretty easy to get mastery with, which again is completing all the objectives perfectly, for example, by killing all the monsters on time, collecting all the souls on time for the Jar of Souls, and so forth. But the one that I would kind of avoid if you're specifically trying to farm for this mount accessory is the one where you have to save survivors, because they tend to die really easily, especially in Nightmare Dungeons where the NPCs don't seem to scale as much as the monsters and the dungeon itself does. Anyhow, by completing this challenge, which by the way is called World Event Master, you'll be able to get the Horodric Tome accessory, which in my opinion is pretty cool and unique. And on to the next mount cosmetic. This one is actually very easy to get, although it does require you to form a party. And so I thought I'd mention it because I feel like some people would just play solo and might not actually know about this one. But even if you are primarily a solo player, fear not because this is actually really easy to complete. All it requires is that you complete any Ancestral Nightmare Dungeon while in a party, and you only have to do this once. The Ancestral tier, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, just means a level 30 and above Nightmare Dungeon, which isn't relatively too difficult to do if you have a generally viable build going and if you are about level 75 and above. And just by doing this, you'll be able to collect the fairly unique Lamp Lighter's Tack Mount Armor. And on to number 4, and this is actually one that I don't yet have, but it's actually a really cool one and one that I think is very much worth working towards, and that is the Elemental Heart, which requires you to complete the Trophy Hunter Challenge, which actually is to kill the various named monsters, which actually spawn in specific locations around the world. And I'll link a guide below for what each of these monsters are and where they spawn, and actually the rare items that they drop as well. Which, by the way, is another thing that you want to consider. Each of these named monsters actually drops a specific item. Most of these are not very useful for most specializations, but there are some select ones that are actually very powerful, and they actually scale with your character level. So that's definitely something to consider as well. Plus, if you want, you can even try to do this challenge along with the first two that I mentioned in this video, which are again to explore all of Estuar and to get all the Altars of Lilith, because this challenge also requires you to travel around the world. And again, by finishing it, you'll be able to unlock this mount trophy called the Elemental Heart to become an object of envy even as you gather with other people for a world boss. And before I get into the last mount cosmetic on my list, 
I'd like to quickly give a shout out to all the ones that you can actually collect through random drops. You can pretty much slowly accrue them just by playing the game. And especially the Spectral Charger here, you'll be able to have a very good chance, by the way, of picking up from the Legion events. So I would definitely recommend doing Legion events to try to get this mount if you haven't already gotten it, because the drop rate is extremely high. And aside from that, there are ones that generally have a higher chance to drop from specific types of content as well, like from Helltide Chess, Tree of Whispers caches even, that actually has some cool cosmetics, and just opening chests and killing monsters in general in each zone. Each zone kind of has its own drop table for certain specific mounts. Even treasure goblins have their own loot table, so to speak, for mount cosmetics. And many other ones that I won't specifically mention in this video to spoil them will actually just come naturally from you progressing through the game, such as if you upgrade your healing potion to the maximum level, if you get a certain number of paragon points, usually again by reaching a certain character level, both of these milestones will unlock specific mount accessories too, among some other ones like killing the uber boss at the end. And of course, the Fields of Hatred is an excellent source of mount cosmetics. By the way, you really don't have to necessarily kill other players or partake in the actual PvP to be able to collect this red dust, right? Because oftentimes you'll find not that many people prowling the Fields of Hatred. I generally had a pretty easy time purifying Seeds of Hatred to accrue currency to eventually buy up a lot of these mount cosmetics and cool ones at that from PvP. And not only that, but if you flag yourself hostile in a field of hatred, which again, you don't have to use that to go and kill another player, but that does allow you to open specific chests, baleful chests in the fields of hatred, which also have a chance of dropping a certain mount cosmetic. Also, there is a crazily helpful Reddit post that actually gets frequently updated as well for all the ongoing and past promotions of Diablo 4 that award certain cosmetics like transmog pieces, mount cosmetics, and even titles. So I'll link that below for your reference too. And I suggest to bookmark it as well. And now onto the final free earnable mount cosmetic I want to feature in this video. This one is also more of a challenge compared to all the other ones, but can thus be more rare, right? And also more of something that you can show off and for bragging rights. And that would be the Horodric Tack or Horodric Mount Armor that you can unlock by successfully leveling all the classes to level 50 on hardcore mode. Now at first glance, this definitely sounds like a significant challenge, and I admit it is, but it's probably not as challenging as many people make it out to be because first of all, to make it to level 50, you only actually have to stay in world tier 2 and you don't actually have to take the risk of going into nightmare difficulty, right? And world tier 2 I would say is fairly unchallenging and as long as you're not dealing with say again like nightmare dungeon affixes and also things like helltide meteors, you're really at much lower risk of dying, right? If anything, your leveling speed might just be a bit slower, it might be a bit grindy, just leveling in World Tier 2, but I think it's definitely doable, again, with a bit of grinding. Plus in Diablo 4, and I think this will officially go live in Season 2, but the scroll items that you can actually get in Hardcore mode specifically will actually prevent you from dying, right? Just by having it in your inventory, supposedly you'll be able to consume a scroll. For example, if you face a disconnect especially, or if something unforeseen happens, you can actually consume that scroll in your inventory to prevent one death, right? Well, per scroll that you have. So that's actually definitely a quality of life feature for if people are worried about getting disconnected and things like that, right? But it is slated to come as in the automatic death prevention feature is supposed to come in Season 2. So when that rolls out, that might be the best opportunity to attempt this. And that'll be all for my video today for more than 5 mount cosmetics that you can earn in Diablo 4. Let me know if you have any other ones to share or if you have any other tips and tricks. And with that, if there's another update with even new ones, I'll be sure to make another video for that as well. And with that, thank you so much for watching, consider subscribing to my channel, and also check me out on Twitch for some Druid and other cutting edge gameplay. And with that, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.